All right, all right. So you decided to leave once again, Snyder. How 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 many how many times that you went back and forth with Snyder? <laughs> Snyder has hired me, I want to say, six times. But each time there was a reason. It wasn't that I just didn't want to. That last time was because of the... Alicia. The voice. Alicia. That voice. <laughs> that popular voice. Man. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's uh, it's been a minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's it's been a whole minute, man. Like, like, like two years. It's been like two and a half years, <laughs> at least, <laughs> at least, man. And um, and you and you still uh, and you still going at it. I mean, you. I mean, the first time we talked, mm-hmm. uh, you went through Snyder. Uh-huh, C-R- uh-huh. CRST, right? Or was that CRE? No, no. No, CRE. Yes, was first. Uh-huh. All right, so, so CR, C, uh, CR England was first. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's where you got your CDLs initially. Yep. And yep. then uh, you still needed some more training or you felt the need of some more training. And you yeah. decided uh-huh. to go with Snyder. Uh-huh. Uh I'm I'm a, I'm assuming Snyder didn't last too long. So you decided to go with another company. Now uh-huh. in now in twenty twenty three you still feel that you need yeah. training? Like what's going on? Uh, because through Snyder they don't give you that month. They don't give you I mean, because I can drive well. I've been out. You know, through Snyder I've been out. I've been intermodal. And I did a trainer with them. I did an intermodal trainer. We did two weeks. He had me go to back and forth to the yard. And then just pretty much just been training, but it's not to where I've been out on the road training, you know, to where it's like a whole month of consistently training. Now, if they were to give me a truck, yeah, I, I know I could drive it because through Snyder, I was out there in Arizona and California driving around. But I still need help with that backing issue. You know, and that was the big thing with Snyder. It's like they kept, it, it's like they had different ways of trying to teach me. You know, in each training, it was different. And remember the last time I talked to you, I told you about the one that yelled at me? Right, right. Yeah, so that was the last time I was there. And I still want to do the back. You know, I want to drive, but it's like the backing kind of, it scares me a little bit because I'm like, okay, I need, I really do need to, focus more on that and they really didn't want to give it to me so then i've applied to a few companies and i don't think they like that aspect of me going back and forth between spiders <laughs> i mean some didn't care you know but i think they want to train people that are just out of school so they see that i have this cdl for like a couple of years they're like oh well uh, I think a couple of companies wanted to, but I think in the end, they kind of seem like they want people that just came out of school to train, you know, and then with Western Express, they, they're like, as you can see, they'll take anybody, they're like, whatever. So okay. they're going to give me that training. Okay. So before, so before we get into uh Western Express, man, because it uh-huh. seems, it seems as though, uh, <sighs> Yeah, a lot of a, a lot of females is and males uh-huh. is jumping on you at uh, not U.S. but uh, Western Express. Uh, one guy jumping on there and he's doing lease purchase, brand new. A uh, couple yeah. of fe- couple of females uh, uh-huh. turned into you know new brand new by the way, uh-huh. but they uh-huh. but they're doing uh, you know they doing training. Uh, one female has some tea to you know to spill on uh, Western Express, while the other female is still, I guess, trying to get her foot in and training. And here you are hitting me uh-huh. up, hitting me up, saying, "Yo, I'm about to go with Western Express." Yeah. Like, yeah, like yeah. what? What is uh-huh. what is up with Western Express, man? Yeah, they're about to get real popular. <laughs> 
Yeah, I was thought I thought about that least part just saying because they they don't need experience to give you that. And I was really thinking about that. So let's uh let's back it up. Let's uh let's back mm-hmm. it up. Let's uh play catch up right quick. So you did uh-huh. uh you did send me a couple of voice notes and we was talking in the background about what happened to you with uh with the trainer. What what was that at Snyder? That that was at Snyder, right? Yeah, he was an instructor, a classroom instructor. And what happened was he had an attitude that he had to take me to do the backing. Now, at first, the original instructor that I had when I first went to Snyder, he was going to take me. But they had a new boss, and I think the new boss wanted – they. I think they. what they do is they have, like, meetings about who needs help and who doesn't. And that morning, I think they said, you know, we need help, blah, 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 we need somebody to take her backing, blah, blah, blah. And I think they made that instructor take me. And he seemed to be kind of irritated that they picked him to do it. And so when we got out there, it was okay. But then the longer it took, the more frustrated he got with me. And in the, it, at one point, the, the truck freaking stalled. And he was so mad that he wouldn't listen to me. I was trying to tell him it's not moving. It's not where he's like, turn the wheel, turn the wheel, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it's not moving. I can't. So just turn it. Just turn it. And I'm like, dude, I'm trying to tell you this, this truck isn't moving. And it finally hit him that I was telling the truth. So I put that in my report. I was like, this nigga's in here yelling at me. I'm trying to tell him it's not working. So I told his big boss everything. I'm in the office crying. He was, he was like, um, he said, that's usually not like him. I said, I know. You know, I've been with y'all back and forth for a couple of years. I know his personality. But I'm like, if, if it's getting that bad, just tell me to stop. You know, it's not going to work. We're not going to do this back no more. But he was, he was starting to yelling at me. And I, I was like, yeah. And so I, I, I'm sure he's sure he got in trouble about it because he looked real scared when he saw the big boss come out the room with me. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, you, you can't yell at people like that. He said one thing I don't tolerate is my instructors abusing the students. I said, yeah, because I'm like, had I been a man, he wouldn't have been doing all that. I mean, he was straight yelling at me at the top of his voice. I'm like, I know I'm not all that great in backing, but – you need to calm down a little bit. So that was the last time I was with them. Do you think that's because of, of a lot of these trainer instructors just don't have the patience? And if so, if that and if so, do you think that's really the job for them to have if they don't? Uh, I think some of them do. Like I was telling his big boss, they're like his other employees didn't ever yell at me. I had like three of them. I had, it was one named Luis, it was one named Chris, and I forget the other one's name. They never yelled at me. They just had the patient with me. They got, you could tell they got a little frustrated, but never got to the point where they were screaming at me. They said, okay, you know, you'll get it, blah, you'll get it. They were more encouraging. But this man, for some reason, flipped. So I, I, can, I can't really say that they don't, don't really have it. I think it just depends on more of the personality. And I think by him being more of a classroom instructor, I think he got a little bit more fed up than he should have. Because he's usually in the class. He's not a, a role instructor like the other ones that I had. He was an actual classroom person. All right, all right. So yeah. you decided to leave once again, Snyder. How? Yeah. How, how many how many times that you went back and forth with Snyder? <laughs> Snyder has hired me, I want to say, six times. But each time there was a reason. It wasn't that I just didn't want to. That last time was because of the backing. And they, Oh, because I had asked them. I said, well, are you willing to give me another week? I was, I'm talking about the big boss. I said, are you willing to, after the dude yelled at me and all that crap, I said, are you willing to give me another week? He said, well, we really can't. I could probably give you another two days, but I really can't give you any much more time than that. So that was why I was okay. You know, I just gone home. Because they had brought me in as an experienced driver. Had they brought me in as an inexperienced, I would have had that three weeks. But they only had four days because they had me under experience because I had been with them a couple of times. So, but yeah, I, I was with them a few times. And I think that's the issue with most, what most of the company had. They were like, oh, she was up with Snyder. It was never anything negative because I could still go back with Snyder, actually. I had called and they said, yeah, you come back, but, you know, come back after, um, I think, January. I think I have like five more months. 
and they say, yeah, you can come back, but, you know, not until January. So they'll still, even still, they'll bring me back. But I was like, maybe it's time for me to try another company, and that's why I tried to switch. Wow, six times. <laughs> like, why, yeah, I mean, you're why, like a good driver. I, but I why, haven't had any accidents. I haven't hit anything. But why, 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 did you, why did you leave so many times to come back so they many times? They were different reasons. They were different reasons. Uh, the first time was during when I met you during COVID, and then I thought I had it. And then the next time where I was living, there was a, a leak. There was some kind of like a flood. And my roommate had called me and said, we got to move. And I said, she said, where are you? I said, I'm in the training. I, I didn't, each time I didn't quite get out of training. It was always in a training. And I had to rush home and get my stuff out of there because there was water everywhere. All of our rooms were flooded and we had to move to another place. So I had to do that. And then the next time, I actually, they were about to put me out because Snyder forgot to pay me. And since they forgot to pay me, I didn't have money to rent that room out. So I had to go home and straighten that out. So that was then. So it was each a, a issue, but it wasn't because of Snyder, which is why I think they kept bringing me back. It was never anything that was a negative. Oh, and the time before is the last time I was in California. I had been doing intermodal, and then I had to go home back to California. And then out there, they transferred me out there. They brought me to station in Arizona. So while I was in Arizona, they gave me a truck. They finally gave me a truck. I was on my own. But the truck that they gave me, they had a previous smoker in there. And I'm highly allergic to smoke. I'm not sure if I remember telling you, but I'm allergic to all kind of smoke. So I didn't say anything at first because I didn't think it was going to bother me. But then I slept in it that whole week. And then that, that Saturday, I woke up with hives all over my body. So then I let them know. I said, and it was also fumes coming off the truck. I didn't know it was going to affect my skin, but it did. So I said, I don't know what's going on. I said, I have hives all over me. I have, I'm having a larger reaction to whatever is in here. You guys gave me a truck with a smoker. I said, I can't deal with any kind of smoke. And they said, well, we don't have another truck to give you. And I said, well, I can't stay in this one. So that was that. So I just told my manager, and I let her know. She was actually gone that week, but I let her, I guess, person in command tell her, and she emailed me. She said, we accept that, you know, that we, you have to leave, and we understand, but we don't have another truck for you. But actually, which is weird, they wanted me to switch my license out back to California, and I couldn't because at that time in that DMV, I needed to um, get my birth certificate, and I needed a real one. So I had to order a real one to actually switch my license out, and I wouldn't have been able to do that anyway because I would have had to wait 30 days, and Snyder was only giving me like 20. So they would have had to let me go anyway for that. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to just go back to Cal uh, Georgia. Then that's when I made the switch to come back to Atlanta. So it was all different reasons. Snyder didn't do anything to me. You know, it was never anything negative. And like I said, I think that's why they kept bringing me back because I was a good driver. They all kept giving me good driver awards and little perks and stuff, but stuff kept happening. So, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's what's up. All right. So now you're, you, where, where are you now? Back in Atlanta? Back in Georgia? Where you Yeah, at? I'm back in Atlanta now. Uh-huh. So are you making the plans to move back to California or Atlanta no. is where you uh, stand? I, I'm staying in Atlanta because I hadn't known, I didn't even know when you, when I got out there that I had to retake the whole damn test all over again. <laughs> wow. No, I not, had, yeah. I had, not to doing whole, that. I had to retest. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wasn't about to do that. They said you would have had to retest. You would have had to retest the questions and everything else and to switch your license out. I said, no, no. So that's when I came back out here. You said that would be a negative, sir. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. All right. So back in Atlanta, Georgia, and and now you're when, – when are you starting with uh, Western Express? And I guess the people want to know is, like, why mm -hmm. even go with Western Express if you have <laughs> such a good rapport with uh, with Snyder? Well, well, for one, I don't want to wait that long to start driving again. Um, I thought about it, but I kind of want to get back on the road. I've been thinking about it a lot, you know, and, you know, Western Express has been sending me emails. Don't waste your CDL. Don't waste your CDL. <laughs> Come back with us, you know, and my, I have a, 
a, my DLT medical card is good for two years. And I'm like, I felt like that. I was like, I don't want to just sit up here and waste it and not drive. So I picked them because I want to be solo. They were, they were out of three companies. It was out of um, them, a CR, CRST, and Covenant. And I really don't want to tea drive. I mean, I thought about it, but I prefer to just be by myself. And I think with Western Express, I can be solo. So I was like, okay, yeah, let me go ahead and try them. And they are going to give me that training that I want. Because they're going to send me out with a trainer immediately. I seem to, I like that orientation. You come in, you do your paperwork, you do your drug test, blah, blah, blah. I know I can pass that with flying colors. You do a road test. No backing. <laughs> No backing. That was a big issue with me in the first place. No backing. And then do the roll test. Then you get a trainer within, what, four days? And then I'll be gone out with my trainer for about a month. And that's what I need. That's what I need. So I'm like, I know the company probably isn't, you know, what people most desirable. But I think for me, it's probably the best because I really do need that experience driving. All right, so with Western Express, you 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 just pretty much going in just to just to get uh, tightened up on your experience. How? Oh yeah. How how long do you how how long do you anticipate on staying with Western Express before you make another power move to another trucking company? I kind of want to stay with them. I don't I don't really want to move anywhere else. You know, because like the other, my friend said, they're probably going to ask you to be a trainer. <laughs> and that would be a cool experience, you know. And I want to do, I do want to try that lease purchase. I want to see how that works out. Because, you know, in other companies, they want you to drive for six months and or five months and before you could do that. But I think coming in new to be lease purchase is really cool. So I do want to try that and see what how that works out. All right, Alicia. <laughs> yes, yes. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you jumping back up on the uh, podcast. Uh, you know, to to catch me up on on what's been going on with you. Hello. I'm here. Oh, okay. Did Did you hear me? <laughs> Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Like I said, I, I I appreciate you coming back up in and uh, you know, catching me up on uh everything that's going on with you. I really do appreciate it. Oh, definitely, and I keep you posted. I keep you updated when I'm on the road and training and. Big cheese got it locked. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around Come dive in my ocean for my push My love is like lotion It's all over you You all over me Cause you my love boo How many times I gotta tell you Don't fuck around Cause they got you insecure